Hello and welcome back to Wisdom Discovery, the Enlightenment Zone and Prayer Center. This is part two of the series, how to use foil to deliberately put high energy slash power in motion. FUEL, as we know, stands for Freedom Using Enlightenment Light. Today's title is Maintaining Emotional Frequency for Our Desire. In other words, Persistent Faith. Desire means having a strong yearning. The first Bible verse that we'll be looking at today is Psalms 37 and 4, which reads, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Delight means please someone greatly, a great degree of gratification or pleasure. As humans, we must have desires. Based on experience, we must also pursue our passion slash gifts. When our desires align with our gift, we align ourselves with God's will for our life. As indicated in previous videos, if we don't use our gift, or gifts, other people will try and steal and transfer the light and glory that comes with that gift. Hence, we must have an intense yearning to maximize our gift. As always, it is essential to partner with the Holy Spirit. As with God, all things are possible. We can never do it alone. We need supernatural help. I know God uses people to be a blessing, but we should never put our trust in people, nor look to them for help. Our help comes from the Lord period. As the saying goes, we can not trust anybody, I mean anybody in Babylon, including the religious. The Bible verse Psalm 37 and 4, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. It clearly indicates that God wants us to have a vision and a dream. When we delight, please God, God actually says that our desire is a done deal. It is God who puts the desire in our heart in the first place. Still on the word delight, which means to please and have great pleasure in. When we have a satisfying relationship with the Lord, we have faith. Hebrews 11 and 6 reads that without faith, it's impossible to please God. We have learned that our faith and delightfulness in the Lord must be continuous, ongoing, as this is our connection to the supernatural which is God's power.
Remember, we must do our part. And God does his part. Part of our duty is to maintain and believe the equation, which is feeling plus our emotions equals to faith. Jesus said in Luke 18 and 8, when the Son of Man comes, will he find this persistent faith on earth? The above verse indicates our responsibility. Our countenance must show we are in faith as this reveals our emotions. Our feeling, our face will for the most part show how we feel inside. In Hebrews 10 and 23, it reads, let us hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful who promised. That is the New King James Version. Let us seize and hold tightly the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is reliable and trustworthy and faithful to his word. That is the Amplified Version. Knowing how we feel at any point in time and the frequency we emit will help us adjust if we are off track. Whenever we are weak in faith, we deflect from whatever promise we believe for from God. A great scripture for this example to demonstrate this is Romans 4, 16 to 21. Let's read. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be given by grace to the end that the promise might be made sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. Verse 17, as it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and calls those things which are not as though they were. Verse 18, Abraham, against all hope, believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which he had spoken. So shall your seed be, Abraham. Verse 19, and not being weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, nor yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Verse 20, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but in strong faith, giving glory to God. Verse 21, and being fully persuaded that he had promised he was also able to perform. As we see in the above verses, the father of our faith, Abraham, did not waver in faith, but trusted God. However, as we all know, that was not always the case and in the past when he Abraham wavered they tried to help God out and Hagar and Ishmael came into the picture the advantage of emotional 
frequency scale is that it enables us to know whether we are in faith or fear based on our emotions and what we feel inside the good thing is that when we feel low in spirit it's a red flag that we are not in faith therefore we need to do something about our feeling various emotional frequency scale slash chart on my YouTube page so you can see it as we must ensure that we are always above equilibrium in other words our emitting voltage Hertz is above average our feeling is above average in the emotional frequency chart we have 17 different categories of emotions. Some of these emotions are classified as weak and destructive energy in nature. Others are considered as strong and creative energy in nature. Whatever word we are familiar with or we want to use, such as level, our emotional level or state, can be used to know or to determine the frequency we emit. So you will see that on the chart. For example, if we feel humiliation or shame on that level, which is the bottom of the scale, that would be a very good, horrible feeling that we have inside shame and humiliation. And then we know that we need to change that feeling ASAP. Maybe by listening to pleasant music, um, such as maybe praise and worship, or a song that brings back good memories. So what we're trying to do is to lift our spirit. We could also read the Bible or listen to some positive confessions, affirmation on the promise of God. And within a short period of time, a person can go from shame, humiliation, frequency, which is around 1 to 20 hertz, to peace of around 600 hertz, etc. In other words, from low and weak faith, to strong faith in a moment of time. Again, I will be uploading some music, um, instrumental to, you know, frequency music to lift our consciousness, to lift our spirit whenever we are in such level or to maintain that high place in the spirit. This will all be put on my YouTube channel um, soon. So let's close in prayer. Father God, we praise you as we come into your presence father in the name of our savior jesus christ we cleanse ourselves oh god with the precious blood of jesus christ which never loses its power father god i pray that you give us sufficient grace so we can always watch and pray. I pray, Father God, that you increase the spirit of discernment upon us in our life. As the devil often disguises himself 
as an angel of the lights. Father, I now release your blessing on your people. This blessing includes peace, joy, and provision in Jesus name. I release healing virtues on those in need of healing now in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless. See you in the next video.